Uh, thank you for your kind introduction, Professor Zimmermann. Um, I want to tell you about uh, development of a probabilistic model for the prediction of fatigue life in the very high cycle fatigue range based on the inclusion population. Here the short outline for my today's presentation that you can see up, uh, up uh, on each slide. So the material that we investigated if uh, the metastable of stellitic stainless steel is C304 with the following chemical composition and it was delivered in uh, such a sheet form after hot rolling and solution annealing and then it was subsequently uh, restrained in order to induce the 60% uh, martensite volume fraction. So here you can see the SN curve for the presented uh, alloy and uh, we can see that failures can take place uh, beyond the classical fatigue limit for steels and we can also see a huge scatter band of uh, experimental results uh, on this diagram. And our aim is uh, to investigate the reasons of uh, scattering and uh, to characterize uh, the scattering and to um, try to predict fatigue life of uh, such alloys. So our investigation showed that we have uh, two types of uh, crack initiation, crack initiation at the surface and crack initiation in the space on interior. But um, always uh, in both uh, cases, uh, crack initiation takes place at such uh, non-metallic inclusions. And in order to characterize the size of inclusions, the area parameter introduced uh, by uh, Murakami uh, was used. And uh, here you can see the results relating to the position of the failure relevant inclusions in, on the, the damage of, of the, uh, on the surfaces uh, of uh, our fatigue spacements. Uh, the inclusions uh, tend to concentrate in the center of the spacement along the normal direction and uh, uh, these uh, results uh, also confirm the results of uh, different authors uh, that uh, report, uh, report that um, the amount of inclusions on the surface decrease with the uh, uh, stress uh, amplitude. We can see more uh, inclusions uh, in fatigue relevant, failure relevant inclusions in the space and interior at uh, uh, lower stress amplitudes. So in order to characterize the initial damage um, resulting from uh, the presence of uh, uh, inclusions in the spacement um, in stressed volume, the fracture mechanical approach according to Murakami was used but in, in contrast to the um, uh, conventional um, approach we used here uh, not the nominal stress uh, we, uh, the local stress uh, resulting from the uh, our center spatial, uh, space mount geometry was used here and uh, here you can see the correlation between the calculated uh, stress intensity factor um, and uh, corresponding number of cycles to failure of uh, fatigue spacements uh, calculated uh, for uh, inclusions, uh, failure relevant inclusion situated on the spacement surface and uh, in the vicinity of the uh, spacement surface, but uh, with the uh, uh, such uh, pronounced uh, FGA, uh, FGA formation and uh, we can see clear correlation between the delta K value and the uh, uh, corresponding number of cycles to failure for these two uh, types of crack initiation. The other group here, the blue uh, point, uh, points uh, are basement that uh, show crack initiation uh, in the spacement <coughs> interior but uh, deep below the spacement uh, surface and uh, we, here we see, we see uh, more uh, pronounced scattering here and all points uh, uh, lays uh, right of the defined correlation uh, between delta k and number of cycles to failure for internal inclusions. <coughs> uh, presumably the reason for this is the um, extended uh, crack uh, propagation period in this basement. 
Uh, so in order to predict uh, fatigue behavior of the um, investigated steel, the um, metallographic operations uh, were made. We uh, um, observed and measured uh, all the um, inclusions, uh, perpendicular and uh, parallel, on such uh, cross sections that were cut perpendicular and parallel to the rolling direction of uh, steel sheet and uh, then subsequently these all inclusions were uh, modeled using um, um, uh, distribution uh, functions for, for example uh, for the uh, size of inclusion the generalized variety distribution functions uh, chunk function were used and in order to model the spatial distribution uh, of uh, inclusions the Cauchy distribution function and the uniform distribution functions were used. Uh, so, and uh, this uh, distribution function, uh, together with the uh, uh, stress distribution in our spacemen, uh, form uh, the initial data for <coughs> subsequent uh, Monte Carlo simulations. Uh, so, it was our initial data, and then uh, we made. Um, 100 uh, simulation steps for uh, each uh, stress amplitude and uh, within each uh, simulation step the inclusion population in the most stressed uh, volume of our critic specimen was uh, generated and uh, then for each uh, modeled inclusion the uh, delta k value as well as uh, the uh, possible uh, fatigue life was uh, calculated according to our observations of course and uh, the inclusion with the uh, corresponding to the minimal uh, uh, fatigue life was uh, assumed to be the failure relevant inclusion so after uh, 100 simulation steps at different stress amplitude we can see the distribution of uh, failure relevant inclusions on the uh, uh, damaged uh, surfaces uh, of um, our spacements and uh, we can see that our uh, results correspond to our uh, experimental observations. We can see that uh, uh, inclusions uh, tend to concentrate in the middle of the spacement and uh, we can see that the amount of the uh, failures on the surface uh, decreased with the uh, um, decrease, uh, decrease of the uh, stress amplitude. Here we can compare our experimental and simulation results um, relating to the size of the uh, uh, inclusions. And we can see uh, all the um, good agreement uh, here. And uh, on the ba basis of uh, our Monte Carlo simulations, it was also possible to calculate the 10 and uh, 19. Uh, confidence uh, bands uh, for our SM diagram and we can see that uh, all our fatigue results lay uh, within the calculated uh, confidence bands. So now I want to conclude my talk. Uh, I have thought that the um, uh, fatigue behavior of the metastable austenitic steel is 4 with the high martensite volume fraction um, depends on the size and uh, position distribution of fatigue, of fatigue relevant inclusions uh, and the volume of spacemen. That's why we want, in order to model uh, this distribution, uh, we uh, investigated the size and uh, location of all inclusions um, in the uh, uh, material and uh, then we modeled this uh, distribution. Inclusions. The size and location of failure relevant inclusions as well as the corresponding fatigue life were modeled based on the investigation crack initiation mechanisms and the modeled inclusion population within the Monte Carlo simulation framework. And the modeled fatigue behavior shows a reasonable agreement with the experimental data. data. Now I want to thank, uh, uh, thank uh, to uh, the and uh, thank you for the kind attention.